Hi, my name is Quentin Alsbury and I'm a product manager here at AWS. This quick start video is going to provide an introduction to creating visualizations of your data inside the analysis mode in Amazon QuickSight. To start transforming your data into charts and visualizations, log into your QuickSight account and click on the new analysis button in the upper left hand corner of the home screen. If you have already created a data set, simply select the one you want to use. If you don't have a data set created yet, click on New Data Set to connect to one of our supported data sources or upload an Excel or CSV file. I'm going to select this data set titled B2B Sales Orders and then click on Create Analysis. Now I'm in the Analysis Mode, which is the authoring and content creation area of QuickSight where you can visualize, explore, and analyze your data. Over here on my left, I can see the name of the data set I've chosen as well as all of the fields that are available in it. To create simple and quick visualizations of your data, all you have to do is click on the fields that you're interested in and QuickSight's Autograph feature will instantly generate an optimal chart based on your selection. If you want to change the visual type that Autograph has chosen, you can click on any of the visuals that are available in the palette on the bottom left. To add additional visuals to your canvas, Click the plus icon on the toolbar in the upper left and choose Add Visual. If you have a specific visual you want to create in mind, for instance, if you want to create a pie chart, you can choose from a wide variety of charts, tables, maps, KPIs, and more from the visuals panel, and then click on the fields that you want to see in your chart. To view and modify the fields that are being displayed in your chart, you can open up the Field Well panel at the top of the canvas. This not only shows you what's being displayed in the chart, but also allows you to modify the properties of how the fields are being presented. For example, you can see that on the x-axis in my line chart, I have a time field that is currently being aggregated at the year level. If you want the chart to show that data by month, you can click on the options arrow on the field and change the aggregation to month. You can also choose how that field is sorted, aggregated, and other formatting options directly from this menu. You can also use the field wells to define hierarchies that allow you to interactively drill down multiple levels inside of your charts. To create a hierarchy, just drag the fields you want to drill down on into the field well and then order them appropriately. To drill through the hierarchy on your chart, just click on the area you want to explore and select drill to the next level. The visualization components in QuickSight each have a set of customization and formatting options available, including changing colors, labels, and chart-specific settings like axis ranges and more. You'll find these by clicking on the arrow in the upper right-hand corner of the visual and the Format Visual panel on the left-hand side of the screen. Visuals can also be resized by clicking and dragging on the bottom right-hand corner and reposition to create a dashboard layout by clicking on the handle at the top of the visual and moving it around the canvas. When you're ready to start analyzing the data in your visuals by using filters, click on the filters icon on the left-hand side of the screen to open the filters panel. Here, you can create a wide variety of filters to explore and slice your data to help provide more insights. You can create as many filters as you want and each filter can be applied to either one of the selected visuals, to multiple visuals at the same time, or to all of the visuals in the analysis. You can invite other QuickSight users in your account to collaborate on your analysis by clicking the Share Analysis button under the Sharing menu on the top right of the toolbar. By sharing an analysis, other users will be able to create filters, add new visuals and modify existing visuals and work with you on building out your analysis. If you want to share a version where users can't modify what you've created, choose Share Dashboard to create and publish a read-only version of your analysis as an interactive dashboard or report. To learn more about sharing, watch the next video in the Quick Start series on sharing and collaborating in QuickSight. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.